Good morning, friends. It's me, Jenny, and I'm back to teach you another Bible lesson. It's a brand new month, and so that means that we also have a new Bible verse. I hope that you're excited, and I hope that you have a couple of minutes to sit down with me and put your listening ears on and listen to what we're going to talk about today. This week, we're talking about how God helps us. Our Bible verse for this month is Psalm 121, verse 2, and it says, my help comes from the Lord. That's right, our help comes from the Lord. And that is Psalm 121 verse two. This week our Bible lesson is talking about baby Moses. And we're gonna go into kind of the beginning of the Bible in the book of Exodus. In Exodus one and two, we learn about the Egyptians and how they enslaved the Israelites. Now, remember that the Israelites were the children of God and the Egyptians put slave masters over them and made them work really hard. They had to do super hard jobs that nobody else wanted to do. They even built whole cities that were just storage places for the king and his people and all of their things. The thing about it was that even though the Israelites were enslaved and they had to work super hard, um, their families grew in health and they grew in number. They had lots of babies. And because of all of this, the Egyptians became afraid of them. And they said, we need to make things harder and crueler for the Israelites so that we can, we can rule over them and that they will be afraid of us. The Egyptians were not merciful at all. Well, as the number of Israelites grew, the king that decided that it was time to do something drastic. And so he commanded all of his people and said, every time a baby boy is born of the Hebrews, that's the Israelites, then he should be thrown into the Nile River, but the, but the girl babies can live. Well, how terrible is that? Can you imagine how terrible that was? He wanted to kill all of the boy babies. Now there was one Hebrew woman in particular and her name was Jochebed and she was married to a man named Amram and they had a baby while all of this was going on and Jochebed didn't want her son to die and so she hid him from everyone for three months. Nobody knew that he had been born and then when she realized that she couldn't hide him any longer, she made a basket, she weaved a basket out of reeds and made it waterproof. And she put the baby inside and she hid the basket in the Nile River along the edge where there were tall grasses and reeds. She trusted that God would save her baby. And the baby's older sister hid in the distance to keep an eye on him. Well, what happened next was incredible the king's very own daughter came to the river with her servants to take a bath. And as she was going into the river, she heard something in the grasses on the edge of the river. And she had one of her servants go look to see what it was. They brought the basket to her and there was the baby and he was crying and she had compassion for him and she felt sad for him. And she knew that surely it was one of the Hebrew babies. Then, the baby's sister came out from hiding and came up to the princess and said, Princess, would you like me to go find a wet nurse um, among the Hebrews so that, that they can feed the baby and raise the baby for you? And the princess said, of course, that's a great idea. So the girl went, the sister of the baby, went and got her very own mother, the mother of the baby, and brought her back to the princess. And the princess said, I need you to nurse this baby for me until he's healthy enough to not have to nurse anymore, and then you can bring him to me, and I'll pay you to do it. What? That's a total miracle. So not only did the baby get saved, but then the mother got to take care of the baby and make sure that he was safe and she got paid to do it. And then the baby was adopted into the royal family. How crazy is that? Only God can do something like that. It was actually the princess that named the baby. She named him Moses 
which means out of the river. You see, when we put our trust in God, he works things out in unimaginable ways. There's so much more to this story, friends, and we'll learn about it later on next week. Today, your challenge is to think of something that you or maybe your family needs to give to God. Just like Jochebed had a problem that that the king wanted her son to be killed, she decided to give that over to the Lord. So think of some of something that you need to give over to the Lord. Maybe you're nervous about starting school or about making new friends or feel scared about learning to read or being away from your mom and dad for a few hours a day. No matter what it is, just remember that you can give it over to the Lord. God can help us with anything that we entrust to Him. We just have to ask Him. He loves to help us. Once you've identified what you want to give over to the Lord, then pray and ask Him to move in your situation. I think in circumstances like these, it's a good idea to pray every day because it reminds us that we have given that thing over to the Lord and that we don't need to worry about it and that we can trust in Him. And trusting in Him is a process that has to happen all the time. Watch what He does in your life and in your family's life. I'm sure that you won't be disappointed. Thanks so much for joining me today. Whew, you did a great job listening. We'll be back again. Well, actually, Miss Megan will be back on Saturday and she'll have some fun activities for you to do with your family. I'll see you next week. Bye, friends.